Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of our... The guy who snapped this, my love. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was, or is. I just don't know anymore. Our dining table, quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You always put too much salt in, dear. Think about your pressure. always worried about my diet. I used to think she did it to annoy me, but now... I could tell plenty of stories. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. Our dining table. Serena enjoyed spice in our life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. I could tell plenty of the dining table was well our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Would you pass me the pepper? You know, you should use it too. It's good for the pressure. I can't help these random associations. It's always been that way. I, I look at a pepper shaker and think of a Beatles song. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes, blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Mm -hmm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. It's just a regular comb, hers. I used it, too, when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, so <laughs> this came in handy. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing doctor's orders, and Serena's. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. 
These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we rarely lock it anyway. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. I huh, should get a new one. We also have a key for... We did have a night prowler once who left a mark. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. I huh, should get a new one. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. She was special. Contradictory. She didn't mind these. Actually, I think she was into them too. That looks interesting. You can always try it. I read it for the articles, of course. Like that one by... the guy. That one about the... thing. I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. It's some way through the woods. Something good left in this world. They still make covers like this. She's beautiful. But what's her obsession with dolphins? I needed some incentive to go check something good left. She's beautiful. I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. We brought the lamps with us when we got this place all those years ago. They were from a garage sale. The sun is streaming through the window. No reason to turn this on. We used to keep a picture. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. Huge. There must be something that reminds me of her. Sir. Or something that she liked. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bedclothes we brought with us. 
a place like this needs some luxury, but without her, there are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I feel too restless to sleep right. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. There are no monsters under the bed. The ticking begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here. As long as we were together and happy. Can't remember her face. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. Look what I made, hun. in case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. And no trap door under there, just more creaky floor. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. No, I better stay in, in case Serena comes back. There's always a chance she might return. There's nothing for me out there. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> I guess it's covered with grease and grime from cooking, mostly. There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, anyway. I can make out nothing through this window. There was a time, long ago, that all this disrepair felt oddly homey. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. This used to be her favorite spot. She used to sit here, put her legs on the table, lean back, and just give me one of her smiles. Those effervescent, incandescent smiles. Once, we dragged these chairs out to the lake and scrubbed off all the dust and grime of years. That was a l For all the charm of furniture like this, something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of brooding. One of a matching pair, obviously. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Come sit with me. I want to talk. And cuddle. What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now. Putting her hand under my shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. The most comfortable spot in the cabin, well, along with the bed, of course. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarity. I didn't. Mo a lot. I did. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I should probably eat. Can't remember the last time I ate, yet I don't feel hungry. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. 
I have more pressing things on my mind right now than culinary exploits. From World War One. Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we manage to do with it from time to time. Well, she mostly. Feeling peckish, dear? The stove looks like... Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we manage to do with it from time to time. Well, she mostly. Feeling peckish, dear? Truth be told, not all the cooking she did was a resounding success. Uh, we agreed to never attempt doing ravioli again. You silly dolt. Here, give me that. Don't be such a child. The stove looks like something from war. I think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the pilgrims. It belongs in a museum. An archaeologist could excavate the layers of food forever welded onto this and learn about the days when other beings ruled the earth. I think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the... It belongs in a museum. Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we manage to do with it from time to time. Well... Feeling peckish, dear? The stove looks like something from World War I. The dining table was well-worn even when we acquired the cabin, our dining table. We don't have a lot of photos. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the Ice Blue Eyes. Hmm. Blue Eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the Fair Ones, fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel and art. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old... Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. We found this trunk at a flea market. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. I have this gut feeling that I should... There's nothing for me out there. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. For some reason, light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. Two days, three days tops, and BAM! A brand new light bulb would burn out. She used to keep magazines, paperback novels, usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. Whenever her lamp didn't work, Serena would come by my side to read. 
A few moments later, she would lay her head down on my chest and fall asleep. The only reason this lampshade gathered less dust than the other one was that we had to keep putting new bulbs in this one. Because of a wiring problem or whatever, this one always starts smelling sharply of metal after being on for a while. Good night, love. She would always bring her reading material dust everywhere. The amount of dust on it might make me hack up a lung. Considering what a strong odor of metal this one gives off when in use, I guess we were lucky never to have an accident. The only reason this lampshade gathered less dust than the other one was that we had to keep putting new bulbs in this one. Because of a wiring problem. Considering what a the only reason because of a wa considering the only reason it's full of little scratches and gouges. I feel too restless to sleep right now. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside, and I guess we were saturated by them. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. They say these things are alive. If they are, it must be a horrible existence, confined in their own silent, dark world. We have much more interesting things than this plant inside the cabin. Like my books. A plant is a plant. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. <sighs> God, how I miss her. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. I have no need for the words in there. I don't feel like being admonished by a deity right now. No, I don't want to read. I have no need for the words in there. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. Commune Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. It smells so elegant. There's violet leaf and silk tree blossom, I think. We were happy for a long time. At least, I think we were. I keep looking at her things, remembering all the good. And bad. We were never that big on appearance. Serena has this mystical aura about her, even when she's wearing one of my mom's charming knitted sweaters. I do remember that on the night I first met her, she wore this beautiful purple dress, like she'd flown straight down from the night sky. I wonder what became of that dress. This dresser contains most of her things. There's mostly beauty products and personal items in it. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. There's dust on this, too. Mm -hmm. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere, nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket, new enough to still have all its teeth. <coughs> she also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bought. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse. But we rarely lock it anyway. I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, I should get a new one. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Not a big fan of them. They 
do tend to alleviate my headaches, though. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I'm only supposed to take these before meals. Dearest, and then... Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync. No trusting this clock. I wonder what time it is. There's a thick layer of dust and an almost invisible outline where we kept the water pitcher. It hasn't been long enough for so much dust to accumulate. For some reason, I always slept on the side of the bed closer to the window. Never. We weren't good at housekeeping, always focusing on other aspects of our life together. But the dust does stand out a lot more. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. Actually, I think it might have gone out of sync again. No trusting this clock. I wonder what time it is. As if it mattered. The clock has always been rather autonomous. No matter how many times we've wound it up, it keeps going out of sync. My love. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film. My love. We don't have... The guy who... My love. All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. I sure hope she comes back soon. We can sit down and discuss our problems, like we always did. We could always work things out. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was well worn even our dining table. Lonely Hearts Club Band. Pig and Pepper. Alice in Wonderland. All these associations, links, plays on words. My head is full of them and it never stops. Yes, I could sure use some pepper today. God, I'm so bored. It's just a pepper shaker, really. We got this set from that clearance sale, however long ago that was, yet we never needed to refill it. I didn't notice this before. It reads, Contents imported from Ceylon. It's just a pepper shaker, really. We got this set from that clear. Is it my imagination, or are you using even more these days? She had a point. I am on medication for blood pressure, after all. I'm determined to make a change when she comes back. Yes, no more indulgences. I want to... It's not the healthier type, just regular table salt. I always planned to switch to mineral or sea salt, but then I always ended up buying the regular stuff. Doctors, they always overreact. I must be even more exhausted than I realize. It's not the healthier type. Just regular table salt. I always planned to switch. I didn't notice this before. It re I could tell. Pl it's just we got. It's just we got. It's we. I didn't notice this. I must be even more exhausted. The dining table was well. W our dining table. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. Someone said, "Work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us." Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me, yet I made so little headway in all this time. It all seems so meaningless now, drained of everything that made it worth reading in the first place. A lot of rarities and... Sp I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of... I didn't... Most of the books are mine, but all of hers... Without any activity, 
The corner feels cold and lifeless. I'd give anything to see her standing here again, making coffee or sandwiches. I made my own too, of course, but it just made me happy to see. When she was happy, she'd hum her favorite songs as she puttered around. I can't remember the last time. Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a- Feeling peckish, dear? The stove looks like something for- Considering- Feeling peckish, dear? I didn't cook much for her. Always so worried about my stuff. The stove looks like something for- Damn. I can't even remember what her favorite meal was. Look, I said I would do it. Will you just sit down over there? I'll make you something we can both enjoy eating. An archaeologist could excavate the layers of food forever welded onto this and learn about the days when other beings ruled the earth. I think it dates from the colonial era, probably brought over by the pilgrims. Considering how feeling peckish, dear? I'd paint these chairs, add some color to this place. One more thing I never got around to. I feel like throwing this chair through the window. But that would just make me even angrier. Her favorite chair, huh? I should just smash this thing to pieces! It's wobbly and off balance, just like she was. Especially that night. She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb, beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this. I couldn't care. I'm tor too upset. I hate all of this. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Sit down. We need to talk. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. I torture myself trying to remember... Too up... I hate her. All of this... These... I couldn't care. I torture my... Too upset to even think straight. Yes, go ahead and empty the whole salt shaker on your meal. I hope you choke. She was always... Yeah. If she were here... I'd rub salt into her wounds, all right? Just like she's rubbed salt into mine. I hate her so much. All of this, these, I couldn't care less of I torture myself. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less, this earth breeds not our happiness. Never those dry, blackened omelets again. Good riddance. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her. She actually threw this at me once. She could have killed me. That's how the bedroom window got that crack. Here's your stupid omelet. Heavy damn thing. Cast iron. All of this... these... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. I want to hurl the whole damn lot into the lake. Or just tear at the pages until the wind sweeps them away. Some of these started a mildew long ago. Nothing gold can stay. Frost. All oh, those words, those damn words, my whole life's been consumed by them. And now I have none left to say. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. That damn... 
I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me! All of this... I couldn't... Why tort... It's like looking into my own soul right now. Did I see shadows move? No. Just my imagination. It's like the whole world is against me. Even my mind is playing tricks on me. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did and all the things she said? Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon because I've had enough. All of this... these... Pathetic souvenir. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Changeable man, insolent wretch. <laughs> Sounds like Serena, all right. Her father's realm. She was a daughter of the Celtic sea god Mananon. Oh, what was it? Machler? Scholars say Niav's divine father, Mananon was of an elder race even more ancient than the Tuahaja Danan. Why torture myself? I'm too ups- I hate her so much. All of this- these- pathetics. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Her jewelry box. What is it doing here? Just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. I should just destroy this useless junk. But not even the venom inside me gives me strength. Why torture myself trying to up? I hate her so much. All of the I quite. I'm too upset to even. I hate her so much. All the real color faded from it long ago. It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. I told her the rug was fine work, like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? All of this... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Sunlight. Birdsong. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. The light is so dim here. Makes me want to chop down every tree outside. There's only a limited window of opportunity for everything. Why torture myself? I'm too upset to even think straight. That incessant noise. I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now. It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. Chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy. I hate her so much. All of this, it feels darker by the minute, but the sun is still high in the sky. Or is it? I feel so turned around. I it can't be happening. No. I can still see even if the light is going. I'm not turning it on. I couldn't care less about- Why must I always be the one to fill the damn pitcher? When did the place get so out of hand? I hate dust and so did she, but here's a whole freaking cake of it! If I kicked the nightstand, the dust would billow up and swallow me like a desert storm! Why torture myself trying to remember? I couldn't care less about the damn thing now. Maybe I should have a look at the contact pages. Her and her damn spice. Serena thought she was so special. Always trying to make our sex life edgy and exciting. Now I can see she was just afraid of admitting how bland and boring she really was. I'm too upset to even think straight. 
The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad, angry even. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's, it's just not dark enough anyway. I hate her so much. All of this, I could why torture myself trying to remember. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity, always fixing her hair before bed. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm, I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? Bah! I'm too angry to even care. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? I'm too upset to even think straight. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. But it was a sore point for me. My thoughts are all over the place. Get it together, damn it. I hate her so much. All of the... I could... Why torch? I'm too upset to even think straight. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else. Just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Unless... She was the one who left. I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't... why torture myself trying to remember? She once told me how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? How was I supposed to react when she used this, anyway? She knew I loved her. It's not like we have to say it over and over again. The smell of this disgusts me. So, I'm too upset to even think straight. Guess I could have thanked that heartless slut at least once whenever she covered up her body. No, this isn't like me. I must calm down. If anyone is to be blamed, that's me. This ugly old thing makes me feel sick. I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Dearest, and then you toppled us on... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself? Too upset to eat. It's finally sinking in. She's not coming back. Nothing in this cabin will ever change again unless it's by my hand. We don't have any more light bulbs. How could I be so inconsiderate? Did this stupid lamp destroy my marriage? I. I. I, I will fix it. In case she comes back. I haven't got any bulbs on me, and I didn't bring any tools. It, Wait, what am I thinking? Why am I worrying about a stupid lamp? I hate her so much. I'm sick of this thing anyway. We're chipping away at what little money we have because of a piece of junk. All of this... these... <laughs> pathetic, stupid, feeble-minded woman with her silly, menial things. It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this... This sublunary distraction. She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. I couldn't care less about this damn boy. Torture myself. It's just a book. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Why would he want to go out of his mysterious ways to help me now? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her. All of this... these... pathetic... I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them! Everything she wore, just to lure me in. Not even these... violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire! What is wrong with me? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. 
Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her. all of this. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture any sense for balancing a meal? It was either spicy hot or cringeworthy bland. I was used to much better fare before my family fell on hard times. Almost empty. So typical of you, Serena. Not one limit. All of this... I couldn't... Why torture me? I'm too upset to even think straight. Her wedding ring or mine? But... What is it doing here? Oh, please, no. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No. I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. I hate her so much. All of this... I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? I couldn't care less about this damn boy tort. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her. All of this. I couldn't care. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too I hate her so much. I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. High blood pressure? What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? Too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why to I'm too upset to even think... I hate all of this... These... they're all lies. I couldn't... Why torture me? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. I sit, I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, that used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. 
Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a few raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Us. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... these... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Don't worry. It's all covered. We spent much time here. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? Fire will do it. It's been months since you... Fire will do it. My God, what is this? It can't, it isn't. How did it happen? I can't remember. It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? I can't even remember how I did it. Maybe I didn't. Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I remember stumbling on this more than once, but she always insisted it be kept here. She did it on purpose. My face. What's happened to my face? Is this? It's like looking into a mirror. I've just been slowly rotting inside all along. Until I took her life. I am a demon, a destroyer, impure, dead, worm eaten wood. The many times we sat here, so many, to think there would ever be a last time. The dinners, the laughs, I can't bear looking at it any longer. I'm getting hysterical. Seeing this, I can't help thinking of pepper spray. It doesn't need pepper, the black condiment. Uh, I have to focus on something, just 
not this. I need to stop staring at this idiotic thing. If only I had died of high blood pressure, at least she would be... Random associations. I remember after our fight just staring at this salt shaker for what seemed like hours. Serena was the salt of the earth. She was my pillar, my guardian angel. What have I done? Why did she have to be like that? Why did she always toy with my feelings? What have I done to you, my Serena? I can't think about this. I feel faint. I have to breathe normally. I must have taken her ring off when... Why is it in this chest? Was it guilt? Disgust? Denial? In sickness and in health, until death do us part. Just words. This is not life. All the words in these books couldn't bring her back to me. What have I become? All the knowledge in here was at my reach, and yet I was blinded by ignorance. That night, the night we had that fight, this is where she told me. What a damn fool I was. Don't walk away from me. Don't you fucking care anymore? Stop. Get back here. She was right. I wasn't good enough for her. There's no point. No point at all. The more I look at this, the more it feels like an electric chair. I won't see her sitting on this chair ever again. I just don't know how to cope. This rug, I could wrap the body in it. No, I can't. I can't even think about this. It's grotesque. Red like blood. Yellow like dead eyes. Please, let me wake up. Let it be a dream. In that sleep of death, what dreams may come. I can't bring myself to close my eyes. I know I'll see her. It... What have I done? dark world, barely alive. Is this my eternal punishment? I wonder if this plant is poisonous. With my luck it would just give me a headache. Atropa Belladonna, you were a better fate for me. Is this purgatory? Job was it? Why did I not die at birth? For now I would have lain down and been quiet. I would have slept. I would have been at rest. To hell with this book. I should electrocute myself with that lamp. I don't need to see that... that horror any better. Is there someone out there? Or am I hearing things? I'm not taking any chances by turning this on. I used to have some sleeping pills here. They're gone. So many things wrong. Different. What happened? I remember none of it. Nothing. Would death be guaranteed if I... Dust. I'm too much of a coward to try killing myself with this. No light. 
only darkness. Will I see another dawn after this long night? I'd do anything to forget, to be able to focus on something. Just read again, anything other than... <sighs> Dear God. I feel sick. Flesh. Temptations. Oh, no. I, I didn't touch her. I could have, but no. I did not. Isn't time supposed to heal all wounds? I've really gone insane this time, haven't I? I could swear time is standing still. How long must I suffer? It smells sour and musty, like decay. Evidence. Shit. Evidence. I can't run from this. I didn't deserve her. Whatever happens to me, I will deserve it. She's not coming back. She never left. I've been running from a lot, but I can't run away from this. I, I must be in shock. It, it still hasn't sunk in emotionally what I, I must have done. What else would explain it? When was the last time she brushed her hair? Did I brush her hair when I... They say hair is just dead cells anyway. The more hair you have, the more strands of dead cells sprouting from your scalp. Shattering it would get me some sharp shards. But now, I'm so drained. It's all futile anyway. If only... I could see her hold this again. But now, this is real. No dream was ever like this. I can't touch it. It was hers. What did I do to my love? I can't bear looking at this. All the neglect within. I didn't look enough at her. And now, it's too late. Her purple dress, like it was torn out of the night sky. And I, I tore her life from her. What's happening to me? Is this real or some kind of drug-fueled nightmare? Wish I could overdose myself with this. Nah, an easy way out is never the best one. My head is pounding. Is it the pills I never took? Is this my punishment? Dearest, and then you talk. The sun is a silent death for some. Dehydration, delirium, If I smash the window, I could just slit my wrists with the shards. Bashing my head through might cut a carotid artery, even quicker than the wrists. With a twist of wind, Oshin fell hard on his homeland ground. You and me both, my warrior poet. You and me both. I read somewhere, I forget where, only one way a fairy romance can end. There's only one way anything can end, really. It might as well be a coffin. Everything within it is just... dead. I should bury my sorry self in it. All those memories. I'm so sorry, Serena. I loved you. I sit here on the... I no longer... Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, 
you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. Oh shit! We forgot your... Fuck! It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No. Not like this. Please. No.